Hello everybody and welcome to this week's top 10 video, uh, which will most likely be the last video for uh, this week, because I don't see myself making any over uh, the weekend and we'll see it on Monday again, there will be more content, surely with all the great games. Um, I was already quite busy this weekend making this European uh, qualifier video, explainer video, which was a lot of work. So uh, I stay with the theme, the background also reflects that, um, and kind of make a little bit of a cop out of a top 10 this week, but I that's one I wanted to make anyway. The top 10 European national team jerseys for the 2018-2019 season, which of course includes the 2018 World Cup, the Nations League, and now will include the European qualifiers from the ones that we know. Um, you can also say the top 10 Nations League jerseys. I don't think there will be many changes. Uh, before we get to it, which jersey am I wearing? My Belgium jersey that won third place in Russia. I will see for good reason I'm wearing this one. So let's get right to it. I don't think it will be a very long video this time. I don't make 60 jerseys in there. I just put, I think, 16 in there, but we'll make a top 10 with honorable mentions. So therefore 16 jerseys. I think that makes a lot of sense. Okay, let's get right to it. Number 10 is the Bulgaria away jersey. Um, the more I look at it, the more this one grows on me. You know that I want to have a red Bulgaria away jersey. Um, and I want to have a Bulgaria jersey with a lion. This one really fits the bill. Also, look at it. The nice polo style color really look, looks great. It might look a little bit uh, bare at first, but the more I look at it, the more I like it. I also thought that the um, pattern around the collar and the sleeve trims, I was a little bit miffed that this is not the Bulgarian flag, but no, there is the Bulgarian flag. It is just double. It goes white, green, red, which is the Bulgarian flag, and then from the other side as well. Do I wish that it was just pure like the Italy jersey hanging right here? I think that might have been a better uh, option to do it, but I think it looks still quite nice. Homa really made a nice kit here. One that I like a lot, and I'm so happy that this Homa take over that Bulgaria finally has a nice crest, one that they deserve to have. Let's move on. Number nine, similar color scheme, Belarus, the home jersey, uh, is a Macron kit, and I uh, said right at the beginning, I do not necessarily like that the color is green on the front, red on the back, and same thing goes for uh, the sleeve cuffs. But the jersey itself looks really cool. It has a uh, nice modern color opening. And even with this change in color, uh, since it's both darker colors versus the white, it really looks well. I absolutely love the sides where they have this um, cloth pattern from the flag. Uh, it's also incorporated in the shirt. And yes, um, the crest uh, is basically the coat of arms of Belarus, which is very Soviet looking, but it gives also this uh, jersey a little bit an extra because it is not the soccer ball logo. Uh, so therefore, really like this one. I think they take the national colors and do something with it and then put something extra with the accent on the side. I think this is really, really well done. Uh, and therefore, number nine on this list. Number eight is the current Germany away jersey, um, the green one. Um, I love when Germany plays in green. This is a little bit more going into a um, bluish green shade, but I love that it's kind of, it reminds me of the Germany away jersey worn at the 1990 World Cup, but not quite because it has this pattern that was actually featured back in the day on the, I think it was the Manchester United away jersey. So um, it takes an old pattern, but one that was not worn by Germany. Uh, if you look closer, uh, the pattern also has a little bit of a German flag pattern in there. It's always three uh, stripes, a darker, a medium dark, and a light one, just like the black, the red, and the yellow. So that is a little bit there, but overall it looks uh, 
wild but in a nice and pleasing sense. The color, I absolutely love it. It's a classic uh, Adidas color. Uh, I also, in a way, like that they refrained at the crest. Yes, they have the four stars on top, but they, they refrained to put like the German flag colors that they usually have uh, on there. Uh, gives it a very clean look. I gotta say, I always like this jersey. And <sighs> if I wanted to get a Germany jersey, I think that one would be uh, pretty much near the top of the list. Number seven is the current Greece home jersey. First off, I'm very happy that Greece goes back to blue at home. Um, I know they won the European Championship in white and probably that's why they have been switching to white. But the blue just looks better. I, if you ask me if with Greece, I always uh, connect it with blue. I also love that they kind of take the flag and make something with it. So uh, you take the nice royal blue jersey and then you put the cross, which is on the flag in the upper canton, and then the stripes that are also present absolutely love this feature two things that i wish could have been better if you see already the um, uh, crest the flag is not blue and light blue it's blue and white so that maybe maybe i'm not the biggest fan of a gradient but maybe here gradient could have done that you have have it fade into white a little bit i think that could have looked a little bit better i always think my favorite blue grease jersey is the one from the uh, Euro 2012. That one I really like. It had a slight fade in there. Similar colors but it's not as uh, steep of a contrast because there was the fade in there. And the other thing is I wish the stripes would wrap around. But other than that a really nice looking jersey. Very well crafted by Nike. Um, I love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, Probably my second most favorite Greece jersey. I also like that the blue and white stripes are featured on the taping on the back. Number six, small nation. It's the Gibraltar home jersey. Yes, it's a little bit of a wilder look, but honestly, first of all, I love the crest and I love that they're not going for the plain red with a white collar look. No, Legea put a diagonal pattern in there with their own stamp. Uh, the black dots give it a little bit more structure than the white, the slight or light red stripe that goes through the crest. Gives also a slight accent and I love that the crest is on this kind of solid band and everything around there slightly more patterned. I think it's a really great look for a small team. If another red team say, if this was an England away jersey, I'm not sure if I would like it or if this was a Belgium jersey or something like that. But for Gibraltar, I absolutely love this look. It's a really great looking jersey. Um, and I gotta congratulate Legea on making a mark for a very small nation. Number five, another small nation, not too far off Gibraltar. This is the current Andorra away jersey. Um, I was going back and forth. Shall I really put this that high on the list? But the more I look at it, I absolutely love it. It is simple. And I love that yes, the uh, uh, flag colors for Andorra right here um, at the collar. Other than that, very simple jersey with yellow accents. The crest is nothing great to write home, home, home about. There's a slight structure on it um, in, with diagonal, very th thin uh, shadow stripes. But it just looks great. Uh, it, it's a little bit the opposite to the Gibraltar where, yes, from a distance it looks simple, but there's a structure to it. This one really looks simple, but just this flag opening makes all the difference for me. And then there's the um, yellow accents. Blue and yellow work very well together. It's the right shade of blue. It really looks good. Absolutely love this shirt. Um, I, I really would love to have this one. This really looks great. Number four is the current Slovakia home kit. Similar to Greece, Slovakia is switching from a white jersey at home to a blue jersey at home. This one, I love the colors. I love the navy blue with the light uh, blue accents. 
navy blue with light blue, light blue accents. We have that. Yes, France. This is way better than a France jersey. Um, because it is not this random panel, it has some structure to it. Yes, maybe the fade, if you look at it on, uh, on TV, it is a little bit epilepsy inducing, but I really, really love it. This is something special. It is popping and it's the right combination of colors. I also know that there's the red swoosh, then the Slovakia coat of arms uh, as the crest, which adds some red, and then you have the Federation logo, which honestly I would get rid of. I think it, the jersey would look better without it, but um, yeah, it's on there. It could have been a little bit um, darker blue there as well, or something that's a little bit fitting um, with the other blue tones. But overall, I really like this kind of a gradient here on the shoulders uh, that also goes on the collar. Um, really looks well. And then you have kind of the Slovakia flag or you know, crest pattern. You also have the taping on the back. Uh, if you look at my jersey review videos there, you'll see it. This is a great looking jersey. I wish that Slovakia keeps kind of this color scheme because I think it really fits well with the country. So number three is the jersey that I'm currently wearing. It's the Belgium home jersey. And I think from three up, these are all jerseys that I can very well imagine that the teams are wearing something like this forever. Uh, there are some things, this is not the top jersey uh, because there's one little detail that I don't like, maybe two. First of all, the Adidas crest, uh, the Adidas logo is a little bit off here, but they had the match details here. So this is kind of balanced. And the centered crest is maybe something to uh, get used to, but I think it fits fine. But the one thing that I don't like, and we see it here, is that the red is a little bit vanishing. I think a little bit more accenting there would do well. Overall, I absolutely love this band across uh, on a otherwise a really simple red shirt. Uh, this is the first Adidas jersey since Adidas took over again, where I say, yes, this is Belgium. Uh, and it looks really great. And of course, uh, that's one of the reasons why I got it. Uh, again, I'm not the biggest fan of the Belgium national team, but I love this jersey. I loved how they played at the World Cup. And I think it was, um, for me, it was actually a no brainer to get this jersey because it's uh, kind of already a classic, but it's not number one on the list. Number two, and this will surprise maybe a few. Is the Slovenia away jersey, the currently current one. I wish this was the home jersey. First of Slovenia has a little bit of an identity problem. They for longest of times have playing in green and white jerseys, um, which were actually the colors of the most popular club in uh, Slovenia, Olympia Ljubljana. So I think it was in 2013 or 2012 that they did a, a redesign uh, where they chose the colors to be uh, white, uh, light blue and um, light green. Kind of this is now the new national colors. And they came out with some jerseys that are all, um, some of them are nice, some are a little bit overdone. Uh, and yeah, they all have one thing in common, the Triglav pattern, which is the uh, national mountain of Slovenia, which is also featured on the coat of arms, which is contained within the crest. Again, I'm not super happy with the crest, but I think overall looks all right. I wish it, they would do just the coat of arms. Uh, but you know, that's what they decided, so let's keep it. Also, they went a little bit outside of the color scheme. They went with a darker blue with a light blue uh, Triglav uh, scheme. But I absolutely love how, how this looks. The Triglav is absolutely popping. This Triglav is a kind of um, three-peaked mountain, although on the shirt here it has even five peaks. But I love how, how this pops. It's a very strong pattern and also that it stays within um, the shade. You know, um, you have the kind of um, royalish blue and then you have this light blue popping out uh, in this very distinct pattern. I absolutely love that one. I was considering maybe it should have been light green. That could have worked too, but I actually like that it's kind of uh, two tones of green and then you have the light green and the taping on, on the back. I wish this was the home jersey. I think blue fits very well with Slovenia. I mean, it's one of the national colors, maybe the main national color. And I wish that this was the home jersey. 
uh, absolutely, absolutely love this one. Uh, it's a very, very distinct jersey. And uh, yes, it reminds me a little bit about the Adidas kits here with all this fading of 2018. So it fits in there. But the gradient, this bold pattern, uh, absolutely love it. It's the best version they had um, of this since they did this redesign. This should be a keeper. Uh, especially if you look at it from the distance, it absolutely looks like there's a mountain. It looks very plastic. Absolutely love this kit. Yes, it's a little bit out there compared to the others, but I absolutely love this one. So now let's look at some other kits before I reveal the top choice uh, that I also considered uh, in this top 10 and were very close. See them as uh, co-11 in a way. The Armenia home jersey. Macron kit, nice color, the nice crest, they have a little bit of flag in there. If the flag detail was a little bit better done, I think this would have made easily the top 10. Uh, like this shirt a lot. Liechtenstein, also from the Macron uh, program. Doesn't look like much uh, at first, but I like the color. Um, and I like that the crown is doubled up and this village uh, or farm pattern on the bottom of the jersey just gives it an extra touch. Also another really, really nice jersey for a small nation. Staying with small nations, although we have three here, the one that I really like of Moldova is the blue one. This blue shirt, I love the color and I love that on the blue the pattern actually makes a lot more sense. Uh, it's similar to the Belarus kit. Um, it's just that this is black. If this was a bluish or yellow, you know, kind of fitting with the national colors, I would love this even more. But this is a really well executed kit. The yellow one is the one that I like least and that's the one that I use most. But both the red and the blue are absolutely gorgeous kits. Wonderfully looking. Um, I think for the yellow, it's mostly that I don't like the shade and how the pattern on the side doesn't quite fit. I also love that the, have the Federation crest and the coat of arms on there and both look great. There's only one thing we could change for the Federation crest. That's the soccer ball on there that should be changed to something else. Those are great kits by Moldova. Absolutely love them. Another great kit, Smallish Nation, the Montenegro Away kit. Um, it's more like a polo shirt, but I like this look. I like the white than the color with the buttons here. That's a little bit accentuated and then the yellow on there. Really, really nice looking shirt. Um, totally loved that one. Much better than the home jersey, which is the same, just uh, white with red. So the, the color is not pop popping as much. I like this uh, big contrast here. So uh, also the crest of Montenegro really fits well. Uh, I think those are the best Montenegro kits that I've seen so far. And then uh, we have also Norway. Um, I like the colors, I just don't like the color and maybe a little bit of a, how to say, it looks Norwegian but I I can immediately tell you a few nicer Norwegian Norway kits. I love the crest. It's really well done. I love the blue shoulders. I love the white color. I love the red. Uh, I love a lot of it. Um, I just think it could it could use make better use of the colors and maybe a different template. And this this would absolutely gorgeous. If this was with a shirt color, a polo style color, great kit. And the last one in the honorable mention is the Turkey Away kit. Um, it's not the greatest Turkey Away kit. But I absolutely love, again, the white and the color, uh, which has contrast and similar to Norway. I don't like the color a lot, but I like this chest band. This looks great on a turkey jersey. Also has a slight fade to it, so I um, really like that one too. Now we get to number one. So which is the jersey that I, of all the jerseys, like best? Before I reveal, let me tell you, this jersey is the only jersey that I say this team should wear this jersey forever. It is an absolutely classic 1980s look. Northern Ireland home. Absolute beauty. I was surprised myself that I chose Northern Ireland, but look at this jersey. I, there is nothing I would change on it. You have the crest, you have the pinstripes, you have the 
white uh, shirt collar, you have some white accents. It's gorgeous as can be. This jersey, when I saw Northern Ireland played it, I think it was against Bosnia and Herzegovina. I keep going back to that game, also Austria at home. Um, it just looks great. It has identity. It's clearly identifiable as a Northern Ireland kit. It goes back to the uh, successful Northern Ireland teams of the early 80s, uh, has a direct connection with that period. Um, the Celtic cross looks great on it. You don't need the um, uh, dark yellow as additional accent. Just keep it green and white. What a concept. This kit is, in my opinion, the one that really has to stay. Not that I should keep this kit forever or some slight alterations to it. Could there be something that could be better? Maybe the color on the front also in white, but that's not a big deal. That can be added. The overall look of this jersey is absolutely gorgeous. Very worthy of my number one shirt on this list. Well, let me know what would be your best looking jerseys of the 2018-19 season. Um, and uh, which ones you think should stay, which ones should go. Let me know which jerseys on this list you completely disagree with me, which jerseys do you absolutely agree to be with there. Let, let me know how you would rank these. I had a hard time to, to, to be honest. I gotta say that at the World Cup we didn't see the best jerseys. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I will talk to you again uh, probably after the weekend. Up until then, bye.